Amelia, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, my name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies, the goodies. Familia, I'm back with a pink powder review. However, this one is from Gerard Cosmetic. One of you guys told me to use this one and it was around the time it was like 50% off. So I got this at a super discounted rate. Fun fact, Gerard Cosmetics was a pretty Pretty popular makeup brand when I started my YouTube channel and their setting spray had gone viral at the time so I had bought the setting spray and as I was looking at their website it just took me back to that time where like damn it's been five years that I've been doing this and listen Gerard Cosmetics is still here and word on the street is this is a good setting powder I purchased mine on their website some of their makeup is available on Amazon but I didn't see this powder available there but I'll link it so you guys can check out their Amazon store. So this is how it looks. Ooh, and it is a talc free setting powder specifically made for the under eyes. You already know how I feel about powder and eye area. Okay, this may be legit. This looks really pink too. Looking at it, okay. All right, let's see. Oh, it doesn't come with like a plastic to remove it. It's already like open. Is this supposed to not be this full? Huh, that's kind of strange see how pink this is oh wow this is pink oh wow it's like a baby pink okay can you see no you know what let me show you on my phone it looks very very baby pinkish it's a little finely milled it's not as finely milled oh maybe it is you see how it sticks to the finger that's how we kind of know if a powder is like super finely milled i want to show you the difference in pink so this is one size Givenchy Lorac Huda and Gerard Cosmetics. You see how it's very baby pinkish? One size is more like pink pink, you know? You guys saw the difference in pinks that the powders are. This is like a bubble gum pink. So I kind of like that. I don't know if it's going to be too light for my skin tone though. Like the one size is perfect. I like that it's very different from any of the other powders I reviewed and we've seen. It's like a very bright pink and I'm kind of feeling that. Before we get started, let me show you what I have on my skin so we can get the ball rolling. I started off with priming the skin with the matte primer. The oh so famous Smashbox photo finish control matte primer added that all over the face of course let that dry down you want to make sure your primer is activated and your skin is a little bit mattified down then i went in with the lancome tint it all foundation in the shade 355N. Added that all over the skin. You guys know per the use with my hands. And then I blend it out with a brush. Let that dry down maybe about five minutes or so. Then I went in with the cream contour. I used the Milani liquid contour in the shade ginger number two. Added that all over the skin just to give the skin a little bit of warmth because this foundation is a little bit too light for me right now. I use the Juvia's Place. I added some of Juvia's Place blush on the cheeks and I forgot how pigmented this is. Blended this one out. After that, I color corrected with the Huda Beauty Peach Color Corrector because you guys know I've been obsessed with this corrector lately. I let that one dry because it has a very light texture. After I let that dry down, I went in with the new Smashbox Halo Concealer. Added that all over the center of the face and my under eyes. So when we cover up these ojeras, you guys know how we do here ready to go if you're not familiar with setting powder or what it does it essentially helps keep your makeup in place especially if you have oily skin or if you sweat a lot if you wear your makeup for long periods this is really gonna set it down so we make sure it doesn't move like right now we have these creams this can easily move not necessarily right now because we just blended it out but maybe throughout the day with skin warmth if you kind of go like that with your hand you'll get like a whole splotch and setting powder avoids a lot of that you can use as much or as little at setting powder you want. I use a lot, you guys know. I stay baking all over the place. Because I have oily skin, I don't like to touch up my makeup throughout the day. And I wear my makeup long periods, at least 10 to 12 hours, sometimes 15 hours, you know? Actually, really quick too. Oh my God, before I forget, let me give you quick info about this. And for real, we'll start. Gerard Cosmetics Slay the Bake Pink Blurring Powder retails for $29. I purchased mine on their website. This is a talc-free and fragrance-free powder created specifically for the under eyes. This ultra-fine formula 
never looks cakey while minimizing fine lines and discoloration. Diffuses light, which creates a blurring effect. Now that we got all the info, let's get close. Grab the powder. I want to show y'all my powder puff. I'm going to set with this. I find setting with the powder puff is the best. It just gives you the most flawless blurred look. I've tried with brushes, sponges. It just, it does not give me the same result. When it comes to powder, you want to even it out. And you see there's some product there. You're not wasting it. You're just evening that out. I always like to start with my under eyes first. We're going to get rid of any creases. Like all these cream products, all the makeup I'm using, it's not new makeup. It's makeup I know, love, and trust. And oh girl, this is pink. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna set. I wanna set half of this face so you guys can see. You see it bunched up right here on my nose. I've seen powders do that. Set my lids because powder has to set the lids, under eyes, and the skin well. And no flashback. I'm gonna set to the cream. Okay, it's matte. It's blurring let me turn off the lights it's matte but not too drying i don't like my nose the danessa myricks powder does this to my nose too and look you can see my nose here doesn't look like that but i'm gonna blend it out and maybe on this side it won't happen it gives you a good tint look how smooth the lids look and my under eyes look really smooth that's always major brownie points is it darkening up my concealer no Okay, let me work on the nose. Maybe it's like a spot I left. I don't know. That could happen. Let me make sure I get rid of the creases. Creases are done with. I'm going to get powder again. Even it out. Set. Bring it down around here on the forehead and then to the nose like this on the lid here i'm liking it it feels very i would say like lightweight it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel drying let's get the smile on skin does look smooth it looks smooth it looks matte so i like that yeah wow i'm like a little surprised let's look closely at the nose too this is the first side i said you see that i'm not gonna like mess with it or anything i'm not gonna try to fix it oh this side looks better okay so maybe it was me it was user error which is cool. Do you see that smoothness? You see no pores. And I purposely always use a lot of cream products when I'm reviewing a setting powder because, girl, we need to see this blurness all the time. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised, more so about these under eyes. I wanna add a little bit here. Let's bake like in these corners and just a little smidge. You know how I do. I'll be doing too much sometimes. It is 10.05 in the a.m. You guys know I'm gonna be here all day. I'm excited. So you know what? Let me speed up finishing up the face. Just adding powder, bronzer, and blush. And I'll be back. Amelia, I'm kind of liking this skin. First and foremost, this color with the skin warmth, it's giving us color. <laughs> oh my God, what am I saying? I'm literally saying what without processing. Okay, you know how it's a pink color? It's like a bubblegum pink. It has warmed up very well where it's matching my skin tone. Cause you see, you don't see that discoloration we kind of started off. It wasn't that obvious because this powder does have a pink tint to it and it's a solid pink. It's not a light pink. It's not translucent sort of pink. So let me explain to you. Because I'm tanned, you can really see how setting powder will either lighten my foundation or just kind of give us that, you know, really pale look, but not here. You see how it's all matching together? We have a bit of a radiance going on. It's been maybe about an hour. The only thing, my under eyes are not looking smooth. It kind of removed some of my concealer, especially this one. This one looks a little better, but this one, you see, there's like a gray spot right there. I didn't want to mess with it because, you know, that's what happens. Sometimes makeup mistakes or mishap happen. So I was like, you know what, whatever. The under eyes look good. It looks smooth, but it did take out that little part. But other than that, the skin is skinny. It's so smooth, so smooth. It feels nice. You guys know. Let's do a 
flash test. So if you're not familiar what a flash test is, typically setting powders tend to give you this white flashback when you take flash photography. So I always like to show you guys when I'm reviewing just to see. So let's see. All right, all right, all right. Oh no, it looks good. You see that? It's not like oh, this stark white. It is a little bit lighter. It's because I'm tanned right now. Foundation's really not matching my skin. So that also contributes to it. I will categorize this, no flashback. Okay, oh, and my lip, my lip. I'm using Milani Red Flag and then outlined it a little bit around so it just looks a little sharper. Kind of liking this look. But let's go in front of the window, you guys know, different lighting, be changing up the game. Okay, bye. Ooh, you see the smoothness, but let's get close. Oh my gosh, she's smooth. This is where I was telling about the under eyes. This is the nicer one, but you see how there's a little less coverage here? I think it's this eye. Yeah, it was this eye. Just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't look bad in daylight. Something to look at. Look how smooth everything looks. Damn, this powder is something else. I love like the feeling of it. It literally feels like there's nothing on my skin. It has this very lightweight feel. It's not like really tight, not drying. It blurs well. And oh, I forgot to show you my lids look super smooth. I have a lot of texture, especially in the inner. But girl, I'm kind of liking this. I think it's going to warm up very extremely well. Let's see. Familia, hello, hello. I'm back. Oh, it is 12. 12 9 12 it's been about 11 hours kind of going on 12 but you know i got some footage for you at around i think four o'clock to show you how the skin was looking and honestly it was looking really good things were looking very smooth very blurred very well put together don't feel like there's much difference a little more radiance going on but look makeup is still looking good you see that let me look at the under eyes under eyes look good too you see that? You do see like that coverage it kind of took. I don't really like that. Eyelids also look very, very smooth. I think the skin looks beautiful, especially being all day long. Of course, you know, I never touch up. I never do anything to my face. So you guys can see how things truly wear. Let's look at the nose. Remember we had the issue with the nose? Yeah, it's still there, but this one isn't. Okay. Do I like this powder? Yes. I think it smoothed out the skin. I think the skin looks beautiful. Because it's not very finely milled, remember when I showed you on my finger it didn't stick on? When powders are not that finely milled, they tend not to stick, especially in the under eye area. And it does this. I've seen that before. It's something common when a powder is not very finely milled and it doesn't have that baking flour sort of look. This kind of looks like this. Is it horrible? No. But is it my preference no i like the powder i think it's great i definitely will use it i don't think i would buy it again only because my under eyes we don't have as much coverage as i like it to be however the skin looks beyond beautiful like i look so filtered so flawless especially it being all day long you know and another thing is the accessibility you can't really find it except online and for me accessibility for you guys to buy products is very very important because these under eyes kind of darken them up and it may be the color too and you guys i definitely don't look gastada i will say i look very well put together considering you know my under eye situation i thought it was gonna look worse but it doesn't so this is it fam let me know your thoughts have you tried gerard cosmetics have you used this powder if so what do you think and you guys know we're always chit chatting in the comments let me know your thoughts and i love you guys so so much please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye